Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can install the Neo4j graph database on our local computer. So here, you just come to your browser, uh, type the neo4j.com on your browser, and you will be uh, directed in this kind of uh, website. So things may change in time, uh, they change things sometimes. So what you need to do is you just go to download Neo4j, so here, there are two types of installation of the Neo4j graph database. One, the first one is downloading the desktop version. You need to just, if you click on this, you will be directed uh, to a page where you need to enter some information and then um, say that download desktop. So this will allow you to download the desktop version of Neo4j. It's basically a, an application where you can uh, see a user interface and using that user interface you can start and stop Neo4j graph database. So it's a typical uh, application installation like we do for other, uh, for other applications. But what I want to focus on in this video is how we can set up using the server of Neo4j. So this server is provided inside a zip folder here. So you will be directed at this options and yeah, they have like enterprise server, community server, and desktop, that's actually what I talked about. So this desktop is the exe file. So we, that's not our focus now, but our, what we want to do is we want to download the zip file and then extract it and then um, using the console application to start the Neo4j graph database. You just need to click on that and uh, after clicking it, um, just extract extract the, the folder the way I did here. So I just installed both of them, like put the uh, exe file and this one. Uh, so for the zip file, just extract it and now you have the extracted, extracted file like this. Uh, just um, go through those folders to get an opinion what's like. Uh, so they have, for example, a data folder um, and then where they keep the, all the data. And also here is important, the bin folder. So in this bin folder, that's what we need actually now to, to start a Neo4j graph database. So we don't have to install actually anything. We just extracted the file, the zip file. Now what we can do is we can just um, open up the terminal, the console application, or in other words, the comment prompt window on Windows. And uh, now just copy and paste this here to get under that folder. So now, now, I am under the bin folder on my command prompt window. All right, if I can check this out by using uh, the command, and this you can see, I can see all my uh, same uh, folders and files. So the only thing I need to do now is just to type neo4j console. So now the Neo4j command is starting the Neo4j graph database, or we can, in other words, can say the graph the database server. Now it's starting and it will tell us what to do, how we can access the database. So it's taking a little a while, uh, but uh, it will come soon. Um, we will see the URL that we need. There you go. So here, just copy this URL, says like the remote interface available. Uh, it is accessible through your browser. So what you need to do is just open up a new browser, a new win uh, browser window, and then paste it. 
So there you go. Now we are inside our Neo4j graph database. So initially it's asking this. It won't ask this the next time. So Neo4j and Neo4j. Let's try this. So the password was Neo4j again, same. Now it's asking us to type um, to enter a new password for us. So I'm just entering something on my own. Oops, I think I mistyped something. So change password. So I am now connected. All right. So that's it. I, now I can see uh, the database itself here, the Neo4j graph database. So I don't have any data yet. So it says start learning. I can actually jump into code here. Um, yeah, I can learn something, just you know, uh, go through, click on those links, and then try something quick. For example, I can install the movie graph. So very quick. It says create graph. Let's do that, and then uh, so next, next, next. So here I clicked on it, and so this is the window where you can type all your scripts. All right, the Neo4j script. So it's actually a really long query. So basically, it creates you a movie database. All these uh, uh, queries known as cipher. So this is known as cipher which is the query language of the Neo4j graph database and then just need to click the play and now it's running so now it is generating our movie database so there you go so I'm not going to do, get into detail on this like how we can write the queries as another part uh, another uh, topic uh, of another video so but here and um, just very briefly here we have labels movie and person labels and we have the relationships like active the indirected produced and, and so on and we also have keys uh, they have uh, the properties in other words um, of those either relationships or, or labels and we have some other information of this database and here we can see some settings of our database and uh, let's get back to our here. So that's it. So we have started our new 4 graph database. Also, we have generated a new database, a movie database here. It's a movie database. So now, let's say I want to stop it. So the, the way you can stop is just clicking Control C. Okay. Now I just click Control C, and then it says yes. Uh, yes or no so I'm saying yes so as you can see now it's no longer running so my server stopped my new 4g server stopped so if I now like refresh this page I will no longer will be able to access the database here you see so I can just restart it actually uh, with new 4g console and I will see all my data back in in my database so now it's restarting again. So yeah, it says it started. Now it will be the info. In other words, like this URL, yes, there you go. And um, so it, it did it automatically, actually. So I uh, even didn't refresh. Um, as you can see, uh, now we are back on our, on our database, the Neo4j graph database. And here we have the movie database, as you can see here. So also, like, you see the name is the graph DB. So that's like the, the name of our database and we connect it as Neo4j and uh, our, that's our username and here we are the admin we have the admin role so that's it that's how you can quickly install the Neo4j graph database 
on your Windows environment using the command prompt window. Thank you for watching us.